Hello, so in this video we're going to be talking about shops in French in the context of food. So I'm going to explain to you how to put that into sentences, talking about buying food in shops, and show you some examples of those sentences. Um, so as usual, uh, with my tips, so have your vocab sheet available for notes or even just some paper. I'll show you where on your vocab sheet the words will be in a second. And also, whenever I ask a question, uh, pause the video, try to answer it to yourself first, and then play the video to see if you were correct. So let's start. So the vocab sheet uh, is this one here. So the the um, areas we'll be using uh, in this video are firstly the shops. So the list is box number five here. Uh, then we're going to be using uh, the verbs and in particular a new verb, the verb to buy, acheter. So the way you use this box here is that it matches on the left with the subject. So if you want to say I buy, you say j'achète, you, singular, so one person, buy, you say tu achètes, etc. Uh, we'll also be using this box here, more specifically these two lines, the same lines we've used in the past, and the food, of course, is in this section here. So let's get started. Uh, so here are the uh, different shops we're going to be talking about. So I'll show you uh, very beautiful pictures, I hope you're not too hungry, um, of these food shops in France. So the first one we'll be talking about is La Boulangerie. And again, it's a good idea if you repeat after me when you listen to the video so you practice the pronunciation. La Boulangerie. And so as the picture suggests, that's where you would get breads, croissants, pain au chocolat, etc. Um, so you'll have a wide range of bread that would be uh, able, uh, possible to buy in a boulangerie um, with different types of flours, etc. So the French really, really love their bread. Um, you would have, for example, here baguette. You've got six cereals, so lots of, of different types of grains in it. You've got noix, which means nuts, so they've got little bits of nuts in it. And you have complet, which means whole grain. And obviously they sold out of this one because it was quite popular. Um, so what you often see with boulangerie, and a boulanger is a baker, and a boulangerie is a bakery, you often see them linked with a pâtisserie, where a pâtissier would be working. So boulanger is a baker for breads and croissants, etc. Pâtissier is a baker for pâtisseries. So une pâtisserie is our next one. Or la pâtisserie is a shop where you find pâtisseries and more specifically little cakes. So I know that in English we think of pâtisseries being like croissant, etc. Um, you would normally find croissant in boulangerie. La pâtisserie is where you find these glorious cakes. You'd have éclair. Um, so this is what you would find in a pâtisserie. Um, here's some tarte pies. So tarte amandine, so with almonds. Tarte aux framboises. Tarte poire et chocolat. So poire would be pears. And as I said earlier, uh, although they are separate shops, you will often see them both in the same premise. So let's continue. Um, our next shop we're going to see is La Poissonnerie. And inside of it, you've got the word poisson hidden inside of it. Uh, so this is a fishmonger's. Already we can spot a pattern. We have a riz, a riz and riz at the end of those shops. Uh, so it's a very common ending in French. And in fact, it's quite a common ending in English as well. You have a bakery or groceries, etc. So that it comes from the, the French. So poissonnerie in France would look like this. So you'll have a wide range. Of course, it depends where uh, in the country you are. And you might have something a bit smaller. Uh, so like in the open air market, these are quite common and popular in France. Um, so people would go once a week uh, to get their things from a farmer's market and there would be a fishmonger's there as well. Let's continue. The next one we're going to look at is la boucherie. Again, the same ending, ri. And this is where you get your word butchery or butchers in English. Uh, so la boucherie, uh, il y a du poulet, il y a des saucisses, il y a uh, du bœuf, il y a du porc. So lots of different uh, meats here that you'll find at la boucherie. And here's another example from the outside. And this is a great example because we can see the word boucherie here and we can see other words around it. So let's have a look at this one here, which is our next shop, la charcuterie. 
boucherie and charcuterie are often in the same shop, just like pâtisserie and boulangerie, uh, because they have quite a similar product, but there's two different names. So boucherie is butchers, charcuterie is cooked meats, uh, so things like chorizo. Um, and you actually have this word in English, charcuterie. Um, if you hear someone say charcuterie in English, that's what it means, cooked meats. And so you'll often see them together in the same shop. So obviously wide, wide, wide range of different cooked meats that you could buy and slice to eat at home. Uh, saucisson is a, the French word for a cooked sausage. Saucisse is a sausage. Saucisson is a cooked sausage. Going back to our shop, we had boucherie and charcuterie. Let's look on this side here. It is not in our list, but I'm sure you can figure out fromagerie, which would be cheesemongers. And then we have épicerie, which is the next word on our list we're going to have a look at. So it's a good example here because this place sells cheeses, fromage, meats, boucherie, cooked meats, charcuterie. And so because it's got quite that range, they've added a little bit of produce. We can see they even have canned goods. And so they call themselves also une épicerie. In this case, it's a fine one. It's a very fancy one. But épicerie means groceries or the grocers. L'épicerie. L'épicerie. Again, the ri ending. So grocers is a place where you can find a wide range of things. Um, they do tend to be quite small. So that would be an example. Um, and They'll have a range of different things, meats and cheeses and, and, and things are frozen as well, etc. But they do tend to be smaller than, say, a supermarket. Um, so they might have vin, wines. Uh, this is another very traditional one in France. Confiture, which would be jam. And another word that also means groceries uh, is market. Uh, so very, very similar in meaning. So marché. So Épicerie and marché mean very, very similar things. Marché, market. So let's continue for our last shop. So it's the one here. So le supermarché. And so that looks a lot like the English word supermarket, the supermarket. So the difference between l'épicerie, the grocers, and le supermarché, the supermarket, is simply the size, really, and the kind of things they will have on offer. It's a supermarket. There's just a wide, wide range of things. That would be your Asda's and your big Tesco's, etc. So let's have a look at how to put this into a sentence. Um, so we'll be talking about what kind of foods you could buy at different shops. And so to start our sentence, we're going to start with à la boulangerie, à la boucherie, etc., à l'épicerie, and au supermarché. You should hopefully recognize those little words. They're also on your vocab sheet. So they are found here. Okay. And so they mean at or to, but in this context, at sounds good. So at the bakery, we should know what ilia means. Have a think. There is. So at the bakery, there is some croissant, for example. Okay, so we'll be making sentences with this. You may have noticed that most of them are à la, because most of our shops are feminine. The only one that isn't à la is au, and that's a supermarket, because it is masculine. Okay, so let's form sentences with this. Um, I've put some foods here at the bottom. Notice I'm using the word for some. So at the groceries, there is some of something some chorizo, for example. So I've numbered the shops. You can pause the video here and make a note on the side which of those goes for which shops. I didn't put a number for supermarket because all of those can be found at supermarket. And I'd like you to write things for l'épicerie, which can only be found there. So for example, if there's something with meat here, yes, you can find it at l'épicerie, but you should write it with butchers, la boucherie, instead. Okay, so pause the video now and you can write those answers. Right, let's have a look at the answers. So, A, des céréales, so cereals. Um, so, we couldn't buy it in anything but à l'épicerie. So, this is where I'm going to put it. À l'épicerie, il y a des céréales, so 6A. Des tartes, some pies. So, pies, you would find this at la pâtisserie. À la pâtisserie, il y a des tartes. Du poulet, 
If you look it up on your vocab sheet, it means chicken. So, chicken, that would be butchers. À la boucherie, numéro 3. À la boucherie, il y a du poulet. At the butchers, there is some chicken. D. Du chorizo. Chorizo, so that would be cooked meat. So, numéro 4. À la charcuterie, il y a du chorizo. E. Des fruits de mer. So, if you look it up on your vocab sheet, so, fruits of the sea, seafood. So, that would be à la poissonnerie. À la poissonnerie, il y a des fruits de mer. F. Des fraises. So, if you look it up, it will say strawberries. So, the only place you could buy this is à l'épicerie. Il y a des fraises. Du pain. Some bread. À la boulangerie. Numéro 1. À la boulangerie, il y a du pain. Our last one, du poisson, some fish. So again, la poissonnerie, numéro 5. À la poissonnerie, il y a du poisson. So that would be your answers here. So let's continue. We want to make uh, slightly longer sentences. So we're going to be using the verb to buy. So j'achète, tu achètes, il achète, etc. So I buy. You, singular, so one person buy. He buys, she buys, we buy etc. We'll be focusing on just the ones on the top, okay? In particular, I and he and she. They're the, probably the most useful. Um, and if I can give you a good tip to remember, I buy, j'achète, it sort of sounds like jacket, but without the K sound. So j'achète or jacket, I buy a jacket, would be a funny sentence. J'achète, tu achètes, il achète, elle achète, on achète. So they all sound the same. So, um, we could make a sentence out of this. So, I buy some cereals. So, the verb to buy. The word some. Now, we've already learned and we're still practicing. And the food. I buy some cereals. J'achète des céréales. He buys some chicken. Il achète du poulet. So, buy plus some plus food. And we could add at the shop there with the new words we've learned today. So let's make sentences out of this. I've put those in a sentence builder. So we've got the buy, some, food, and at the shop. Let's have a look at examples. Pause the video now and try to write these out using the sentence builder. Check your spelling and check the word order. It should be the same as here. And then you can play to see the answers afterwards. So let's have a look at the answers. Number one. I buy fish at the fishmonger. So I buy, j'achète. So even though it doesn't say some fish, I do need the word some. Let's find the word for fish. This one here. So this is the sum I'm using. J'achète du poisson. And then at the fishmongers, à la poissonnerie. J'achète du poisson à la poissonnerie. Check that you've got your accent here. Number two, she buys fruits at the grocers. I've underlined the S for fruit so that we get it right. And it's a massive hint that the word for some that we need here will be the plural. Okay, she buys. Elle achète. It was fruits with an S, so it's going to be the plural, some. And in fact, here it is. Elle achète des fruits. And at the grocers, à l'épicerie. Elle achète des fruits à l'épicerie. Number three, we buy pie at the patisserie. So we buy, on achète, so then we need to find the word pie, tarte, and as our formula says, we do need the word some, and we need the one that matches with the food, so with tarte, we have de la, because it's feminine. On achète de la tarte, at the pâtisserie, à la pâtisserie, with the accent please. On achète de la tarte, à la pâtisserie. Last one, number four, he buys croissant at the baker's. So he buys Il achète. Now, croissant here has an S. So, we know we're going to be finding it here. There we go. Il achète des croissants at the baker's à la boulangerie. Il achète des croissants à la boulangerie. So, these are your examples. So, if you make sure you just speak in that order for your sentences, we can include the new shops we've learned, the new verb we've learned, and the food we're still working on and practicing. There we go.